The University of Science and Technology, the second of Ghana's three universities, celebrates 25 years of existence. a university. Not only fine buildings, not only students and teachers, Not only academic pomp and ceremony, a university must be deeply rooted in the soil which nurtures it. It must grow and adapt to changing needs and conditions. Its fruits must help to sustain the people of the land in which it is rooted, and it must cast its shade far afield. On the eastern outskirts of Kumasi, capital of the forested region of Ashanti and the second city of Ghana, lay an area of forest, farms and sacred groves. Here, men of vision conceived of a place of learning from which scientists and technologists would go out to build a nation. The late Zantehine Otunfo Seyal 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 as an alternate, alternate institution to the University of Ghana, uh, a place in Kumasi for the establishment of the College of Arts, Science and Technology. The late Azanehine graciously gave the land on which this university now, now sits free of charge. The university now has a lease of about 100 years and pays an annual rent of one shilling a year. The modest buildings housed a student body numbering 200. It is a little more than 10 years ago that the decision was taken to establish in Kumasi a college for the purpose of providing for studies and training in research, in technology, science and arts. Today, this decision has materialized in the establishment of this magnificent university in the heart of the city of Kumasi. The city of Osetutu and the Golden Stool, the capital and the historical city of Ashanti. This university, therefore, has a unique opportunity for making a positive contribution to the development of Ghana by directing its attention not only to the production of graduates in engineering, architecture, building and town planning, but also by addressing itself to the investigation and research and into the problems of industrialization and agricultural development. The seed took root and grew. In 1961, the college acquired full university status and now in 1977 has 2,500 students and an academic staff of 300. Founded in an area of forest and farms, it is appropriate that the university has a strong faculty of agriculture. The lecture rooms and the laboratories may be the basis of agricultural advances, but unless this knowledge is applied in the field, little benefit will accrue to the nation.
The Faculty of Agriculture is charged with the responsibility of one, producing diplomats and graduates in agriculture, two, conducting research into agricultural problems, and three, conducting agricultural extension service among farmers. In recent years, we have successfully introduced dairy cattle into the forest zone and are in the process of helping farmers to rear these animals. The faculty has kept close contact with farmers through its annual agricultural workshops, day schools, open days, and farm visits. particular interest is a dairy project. Agriculture must feed the people. It must also feed Ghana's industries and overseas trade. The eyes of a nation with rich and diverse cultures must also be fed. The Faculty of Art helps to satisfy this need. The College of Art is 40 years old this year, having been established in Achimota as a special art school in 1937. It moved to the present. The objects of the College of Art are to provide practical, theoretical, and historical education in arts and crafts and culture at degree level. Secondly, to meet the growing demands of industry for designers and to conduct technological research. Thirdly, the college aims at studying art education in the community and training educators in arts and crafts at postgraduate level to serve as advisors and teachers. The scope of work of the Department of Painting and Sculpture covers local, traditional, as well as modern conventional techniques and idioms. The department designed and executed commemorative sculpture and architectural and mural decorations for public buildings and places like Parliament House in Accra. The Department of Design and General Art Studies designs stamps for the country. It specializes in advertising, illustration, and posters. Printing and photography are one of the main interesting features of the Department of Design and General Art Studies. The Industrial Art de Department caters for ceramics, textiles, metal products design and various types of industry which have been designed for the development needs of Ghana.
is not a mere embellishment of our lives. It must be a part of the objects we see and use from day to day. The Faculty of Architecture trains architects, planners, and building technologists, and also undertakes research and consultancy work. One of its priorities is low-cost housing using local materials. The faculty aims at improving our towns, our cities, and our villages. In its effort, it attempts to use as many local materials as possible. The faculty goes into details of handling layouts of towns, villages, and cities. It designs different types of houses for various classes of people. It designs structures in the form of offices, in the form of social Rendezvous. National development requires roads and bridges, plant and equipment, power and machinery. The Faculty of Engineering trains the necessary personnel. The Faculty of Engineering started its humble beginning with three departments, civil, mechanical, and electrical engineering departments. Now, the faculty has grown to add three more departments, namely geodetic, mining and mineral, and chemical engineering departments, bringing the total number of departments in the faculty at present to six. In addition, the faculty runs an agricultural engineering course in collaboration with the Faculty of Agriculture. In the traditional departments of civil, electrical and electronic, and mechanical engineering, which run degree and postgraduate courses, sub-professional courses leading to the UST diploma in engineering are run. The geodetic engineering department runs certificate and diploma courses as well. Our products, therefore, cover the whole range of engineering professionals, research engineers, and the corresponding sub-professionals. In addition to the many projects and consultancy services, the faculty has also tried to establish production units out of its own research and development efforts. Because of the realization of the limited quantity of fossil energy stored underground, various attempts are being made to study the use of solar. Consists of the departments of pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmaceutics, pharmacology, and pharmacognosy. A four-year honors degree course is provided leading to the BPharm degree. The faculty also offers a two-year Master of Pharmacy or Master of Science degree in any of the four departments. Research in the faculty is geared towards the investigation of the chemical constituents and pharmacological properties of local herbs and plants. Establishing an experimental laboratory to produce our own master tapes and records for them. 
the Land Administration Research Center, is studying the problems of security of tenure and land registration within our traditional system, which is essential to the meaningful development of agriculture and other natural resource-based industries. Production and wealth are derived from the use of the land, and this is directly linked with ownership, or the right or interests which the people have in a particular plot or area of land. The center is studying the ways of improving the security of tenure for the people. The university also plays host to some national research institutions which work closely with its own faculties. The Building and Road Research Institute is particularly interested in improved utilization of local materials. Forest Products Research Institute examines ways to make better use of Ghana's timber resources, especially the less well-known species. Small industries have been established with the help of the university's Technology Consultancy Center. The Technology Consultancy Center was established in January 1972. Its aim is to make available the expertise and resources of the university in the industrial development of Ghana. The majority of our work is concerned with the promotion of small industries. We have established industries producing paper glue, soap, caustic soda, wooden products and animal feeds. On the university campus we have established production units making steel bolts and nuts, small process plants and textile products. The administration of this complex institution is no easy task. Certainly, after 25 years of active existence, an institution such as the University of Science and Technology may be expected to have attained a considerable degree of sophistication with its attendant problems. At one end of our scale of activities, we have every year an increasing number of school leavers qualified and anxious to be admitted to courses in the university. We, on our part, are enjoined by the act of the university the 80th Act of the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana to make higher education available to all Ghanaians who are capable of benefiting from it. The pressure for admission must therefore be met with continuous expansion of classroom, library, laboratory and student welfare facilities. The university must also reach out beyond the walls of the campus. Adult education especially in those disciplines which are taught on the campus, must become a major preoccupation of the university. All in all, the university looks with confidence to the future, determined to improve the quality and relevance of all its activities. The large campus population of staff and students, in addition to being provided with facilities for their academic activities, must be housed fed, medical attention transported provided with shopping and banking facilities their children must be educated.
mind and spirit must be catered for. Entertainment, sports and relaxation are needed for a full life. What has the University of Science and Technology contributed to Ghana to justify its 25 years of existence? Thousands of diplomates, graduates and postgraduates have gone out into the public and private sectors of national reconstruction. Many of them can be found in hospitals, industries and banks in the nation's capital and in many other places. Products of the university can be found in many parts of Ghana and some of the African countries. The next 25 years will bring more contributions of skills, ideas and service to the nation as the University of Science and Technology continues to develop. <laughs>